What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jasmine. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Claws, episode number five. So excited that Desna saved Ken and Bryce didn't end up shooting him in the face. That was gonna suck. I told you guys I like Dr. Ken. He's so funny and I just, it would have been sad if he ended up a casualty of Virginia's lie. So I was glad that worked out. This whole episode was just like funny and super duper intense. Jen's offer to Bryce about what she'd let him do every week if he stops doing stuff with Uncle Daddy is just cracking me up. I love her. I think she's adorable and she's just so funny. The things that come out of her mouth just crack me up. So it's just interesting to me seeing just the conflict that she's having with being in love with her husband obviously and having to be a part of his crazy, crazy family. Polly at Virginia's house has to be my favorite scene of the episode. I love Polly. She's my favorite. I think she's just a goon and everything about her is amazing. Her intimidating Virginia was epic and I loved every minute of it and I'm just kind of interested to see what happens with Polly and Virginia's relationship. Like will they ever get along? Will it always be that Polly just can't stand her and Virginia's just always just a little extra female that everybody can't stand? I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm interested to see what happens. But I love Polly, I'm team Polly all day. She's just funny. Now, huge, huge point of this episode is the Coombses. We finally find out the reason that Dean is so put off by them. Desna had kind of hinted in the last episode about how they treated them bad, they treated them like animals and everything, but we really, 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 really got to hear the in-depth explanation and get to see them for ourselves. Dean wanting to draw testicles on their faces was pretty funny. <laughs> He's just so subtle and thought him wanting to draw the testicles on their faces on the billboard was just hilarious. But now stuff got real really fast when Dean decided that he wanted to confront them at their open house because they're realtors and it came out that they had them going to the bathroom outside and being in their own urine and all types of stuff and then the people freak out and show their true colors and are certifiably crazy, evil people. And once they leave from confronting them, Dean breaks down and tells Desna that they were being sexual with him and that they threatened that if he ever said anything to anybody that they would have sex with Desna as well. Now they were little kids, he obviously suffers from autism so it's really, really sad that that was happening and that breaks Desna down. And she comes up with a plan to frame them for Roller's murder so that they could be put behind bars. I think that's great. They're evil people. They deserve to be in prison. Let's do it, right? How are we gonna do it? We're gonna plant stuff in their house. Virginia decides that Polly should be the one to do it because Polly knows that Virginia is the one that killed Roller. Didn't know Desna's involvement in it, but now she does. So they have her go plant the bag in the house, which was so funny. Desna calls, gives an anonymous tip to the police who are in Uncle Daddy's pocket. So Uncle Daddy, his crooked cop, Bryce, and some other goons show up at the Coombs' house, beat them up, and then Bryce kills them, which is gonna change him forever. So I feel bad for Jen because I'm interested to see what happens with him now because it, I feel like Uncle Daddy's like pulled him in, right? It's, it's out of his character and I think it's gonna change the person that he is and it will probably start to change him and Jen's relationship. So I'm really interested to see what happens with him over the course of the season. Now of course it wasn't Desna's intention for them to get killed, but hey, they suck. Don't have to deal with them anymore. It is what it is. Somebody has gone down for Roller's murder. Uncle Daddy even goes as far as to call her and apologize while he's having like a gay party in the background. Did you guys notice that? All the dudes like dancing around in like booty shorts and crop tops in the background while he's on the phone. I'm telling you, anytime Uncle Daddy's by himself, there's like gay stuff going on in the background. It's crazy. Now, we think we've seen it all. Whole episode is coming to an end and somebody's starting to wake up. There's a lady dancing on the porch. She's got like a weird lady on her ceiling with braids coming out of her nipples. Like there's all kinds of crazy weird stuff going on and we realize it's Roller. He's alive. It's crazy. My sister, Bianca, 
called that. The first time Desna saw him when she like got out of the shower and he came and like climbed on top of her and stuff, she was like, wait, he's alive? I was like, no, like she's dreaming or whatever. So it's been her theory the whole time that he's alive somewhere. I was like, no, like there's no way. But now that he is alive, I had to think about how, right? Okay, there was another random body in the boat. So that's probably the random guy's body parts that they found out, that they found that were chewed up by the alligators. But how do you identify a burnt up, dismembered body? by their teeth and Virginia had threw his grill in the boat. So they just assumed that it was Roller. Nope, not the case. Plot twist, he's being held captive like that movie Misery. So he's like chained up in the bed and whatnot. If he ever gets out of there though, it's a wrap because he knows who killed him. So we're gonna see what happens. I don't know. I don't know if the lady will kill him first or if he'll escape. I, the sky's the limit because him being alive is one thing. Him being alive and being held captive by some crazy person. Wasn't expecting that at all. Theories. Get your theories going. I don't know what I think. I don't know. I, I, I like Because he's going to get out eventually. He has to, right? So let's say, where do you guys think he's going to go? Do you guys think he'll escape and go to Uncle Daddy first? Do you think he'll go to Bryce? Do you think he'll go roll up? on Desna and just be mad and try and go kill her. Just what, what do you think? What do you think Roller's gonna do? And how many episodes do you think it's gonna take for him to escape? Is that gonna be like the finale of the season? Roller gets out, like, and then it's like, boom, season finale is over. Catch ya in a few months. Hopefully TNT's turnaround time is better than like other stuff. I hate when you have to wait like eight months for a show to come back on. It's crazy. So I don't know. Get your theories going. I want to know what you guys think. It's getting intense, guys. I'm loving this show. Having so much fun talking with you guys about it. So let me know. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, God first, God bless.